guys and welcome to this Rugby World Cup edition of The Social Life. It's well and truly upon us and we couldn't escape the rugby fever if we tried. So we thought better to embrace it and see how an event of this scale is influencing businesses and the consumer and how they're using their social media. I'll be looking at the business side of things and seeing how they're taking advantage of such an event and the volume of visitors it's bringing to our country by implementing short-term, high-impact concepts, events and promotions. On the flip side, Lewis will be looking at the customer-driven angle. How are the public, our consumers, using social media to get their message across? Social Club in the Auckland Viaduct Harbour. Now the Puma Social Club is an international concept which is a nightclub filled with gaming and fun for a short amount of time, usually just a few weeks. Puma set up a dedicated Facebook and Twitter account specific to this event. They used it to keep their customers up to date on opening times and events and most importantly letting them know this was a one-time deal. They are also using these sites to stimulate a word of mouth buzz by participating in the online conversations. They were giving updates about the build and progress, creating anticipation before it had even opened. They were proactive in setting up their Facebook places which meant that people were checking in from day one, letting their social media networks know where they were. Puma then spread their social media reach even further by bringing on what they called the Dream Team. Now the Dream Team are a bunch of people that are influential and prominent in their social space. So what they did then was bring these guys on as brand ambassadors who then spoke about the event, promoted the event, extending the social media reach even further. Take the excitement of an international sporting event, a well-worn internet meme, mix in a little national pride and you've got yourself a flash hacker. A flash hacker is a great twist on a popular internet meme, the flash mob. The flash mob is a sudden gathering of people in a public place where a dance is often performed. Around the start of the Rugby World Cup, a video appeared on YouTube of Māori spontaneously performing a hacker at Sylvia Park in Auckland. It soon rose as the most shared and most viewed video in New Zealand that week, earning over 1 million views and international media attention. Dancing has come to dominate the meme, but the hacker is enough of a new twist to surprise viewers and inject life into the meme. In fact, flash mobs have become something of a cliched marketing stunt. Malcolm Mulholland, a Massey University Māori rugby historian, told Stuff.co.nz that flash hackers are a great example of traditional Māori culture meeting modern technology. It has inspired many to start their own flash hackers in and around Auckland, the host city of the Rugby World Cup, and as far reaching as Perth, Surface Paradise and Sydney, Australia. Tools such as Facebook are used to organise crowds into flash mobs. One Facebook group in particular has over 3,400 members, promising another flash hacker in Melbourne. But compare the flash hacker to the Stand in Black campaign. You may have seen ads on YouTube showing Jonah Lomu and Everyday Kiwis urging the public to stand with them in support of the All Blacks. The ad finishes with a collage of images coming together in the shape of a rugby player. Standinblack.co.nz then redirects to the All Blacks Facebook page. The suggestion here is to encourage fans to upload photos of their support to Facebook. While this marketing campaign may have led to a few cute photos of dogs and children in All Black jerseys, what the flash hacker shows us is that with nothing more than a digital camera and a sense of national pride is perhaps all the encouragement we need. So what we have seen with Rugby World Cup is the amount of visitors that it's bringing to our city. Now it's up to businesses to attract these customers and essentially get their dollar. Now the pop-up concept is a really great way of attracting these customers, getting their money without committing to a permanent fixture. Social media plays an integral part in attracting these customers and getting the message out quickly and effectively.